This video is all about an interview Panasonic's executive vice president, Yusaki Yusami, gave about a new face detect autofocus system coming to future products. Will we see this in the new Panasonic S1 Mark II when it comes out? Details coming up, but first, I encourage you to subscribe and choose all notifications so you're kept informed on the latest camera news and rumors, just like we're talking about in this video. Dave Etchells recently interviewed Panasonic's executive vice president, Yusaki Yamani, about the future of Panasonic and all things camera. What I found most interesting was the discussion on moving to a phase detect autofocus system. But before we get to that discussion, that interview with Yusaki Yamani, let's go back in time to April, just after the launch of the Panasonic GH6. Matt Fraser, Panasonic's business development manager, was candid on why the GH6 still got the depth from defocus autofocus system, why they didn't implement a phase detect autofocus system, and their plans for the future. And so you're working on the concerns of that sensor um, at that point. So uh, low light sensitivity, dynamic range, resolution, those were the things people were most concerned about. And in this next clip, Matt says that Panasonic is aware of their desire for a phase detect autofocus system. I am well aware it's not the direction that people were hoping that we would go. In this final clip, Matt leaves the door open that they might be investigating a phase detect autofocus system or something else. Have a listen. Now, to be clear, that doesn't mean that we aren't investigating phase-based autofocus systems or time of flight autofocus systems, or maybe something really cool that none of us have ever heard of before. But <laughs> at this time with this camera, this is what we're going to be able to offer. And so hopefully yeah. that explains the situation. I know it's not what people wanted, but please take a look at the image and uh, more importantly, take a look at the autofocus system tests that are out there. And now for the part that you've been waiting for, a conversation or interview between Dave Etchells and Panasonic's executive vice president, Yusaki Yamani, on the future of a phase detect autofocus system in future Lumix cameras. Depth from defocus has been Panasonic's approach for autofocus for a number of years now. Its performance has improved greatly over time, but still lags behind phase detect autofocus systems for fast moving subjects. Pulse with static subjects are very smooth and sure-footed. Is there a possibility that you might move to a face detect autofocus system at some point in the future for cameras aimed at capturing fast action? In this first exchange between Dave Etchells and Yamani-san, Yamani-san is anything but specific, being rather cagey in his response. Yamani-san says, the GH6's contrast and depth from defocus performance for focus, speed, and accuracy has been greatly improved by significantly enhancing the processing power and the new engine. So right here, he's talking about the benefits of the new sensor and image processor in the GH6. He's kind of taking away the, or deflecting away from the lack of a phase detect autofocus system. It's a fact that phase detect autofocus is one of the elements to improve the autofocus performance on Lumix for the future. However, phase detect autofocus alone doesn't improve autofocus performance and factors other than phase detect autofocus are required to determine which is on focus. With phase detect autofocus, as an autofocus detection system in mind, we will continue to make every effort to improve the total performance of autofocus. Yeah, talk about obfuscation. Now, as the title of this interview does infer, we do get a direction on face detect autofocus system in this interview, but for the next several minutes or so, Etchells and Yusami-san go back and forth with Etchells trying to tie down Yusami-san on what is happening in future products. And this is a tough thing to do at times because while we want to get the information out, the company really doesn't want to give out plans on what they're currently working on because they want to be strategic. But let's be honest here, the cat is out of the bag. Phase detect autofocus system has been in a number of cameras for many years. So not telling us what they're working on isn't helping their long-term strategy, it's hurting it. In a follow-up, Etchell says this, I wanna make sure I understand this clearly. Yusami-san said, it is a fact that phase detect autofocus is one of the elements to improve autofocus performance of Lumix in the future. Does that mean that will be seeing phase detect autofocus in future Lumix products? Yumani-san replied, we are positively studying phase detect autofocus for future products. We know that phase detect autofocus will enhance the total autofocus quality, so that's why we're actively studying it. 
So it's official. They're actively studying it. Now I take this as code for they're doing research and development right now. And I know it does sound as clear as mud. When I hear companies say, yes, we're researching it. Yes, we're studying it. That to me is just kind of a way to blow off a question to send somebody off in a different direction while they can move off onto something else. But here I really do suspect that they are actively researching and developing phase detect autofocus system in future Lumix cameras. And that's why I wanted to show you that previous discussion with Matt Fraser, Panasonic's business development manager on the GH6 and how they are listening to us. They understand that we want a phase detect autofocus system. And for other reasons, they didn't put it in the GH6, but that for future products, it is being considered. So here we have Yamani-san, Panasonic's executive vice president, talking about it coming in future products. And this is a big deal. Etchells isn't satisfied with the response he gets, so he pushes further. So there's not a specific product decision, but you're conscious of that as something that would improve performance and are studying it closely? At this point, Yamani-san gestured with his hands, indicating a range for yes to no, and then said, our position is here, with his hands moving towards yes than not. Etchells joked that it looked more like 82%. Too much laughter from Yamani-san. Panasonic's executive vice president, Yamani-san, has more or less gone on the record and said, yes, they're definitely researching and developing a phase detect autofocus system for future Lumix products. Now, what does this mean? Does this mean we're going to see it for the GH7 when it comes out? Uh, most likely, because that camera's probably not, or at the very least, two to three years away. But what about the S series, the S1, the S1R, and the S1H Mark II? They were released just over two years ago, and they're definitely up for, well, a potential refresh in this coming March or the following year. And that's where we could likely see something. But the fact that they're currently researching and developing this technology, something that's been on the market for many, many years, doesn't make me feel confident that it's something that we're going to see imminently, that they're researching and developing, that they're looking at it seriously. And yes, they might be looking at it very seriously, but there's no time frame here. I don't want to get too excited. But I think finally, Panasonic gets it, that a phase detect autofocus system is important. Matt Fraser said, look, we understand that you want it. Panasonic understands that we want it. And I think they understand that it's very important for future cameras. So a face detect autofocus system coming to future Lumix cameras at GH7, I'd say that's pretty good, a pretty good um, assumption. As far as it coming in the S series of cameras, well, it's hard to say. They've been working on those cameras, well, going back to when they released the first S1, S1R. So will it be in the future? It's really hard to say. Will it be coming out next March or the following March? I think if they're coming out next year, the chance of seeing a face detect autofocus system in those cameras isn't looking nearly as good as if the cameras come out a year following. But moving off of face detect autofocus in Lumix cameras, Etchells asked Yamani-san about something else, and that's about that L2 alliance and a change that was stated in a recent press release. Referring to the change in the L mount alliance between Panasonic and Leica, Etchells asks, what will this mean on a practical basis, especially in terms of joint development? It's a comprehensive agreement between Panasonic and Leica to which both companies will contribute. So we're going to be working together. This agreement won't include Sigma, but Sigma is a very important partner in the L-Mount Alliance. So among the three of us, we will all work to improve the total quality of the L-Mount together. The L-Mount Partner Alliance won't be changed. We've just added an additional agreement between Panasonic and Leica. Yeah, that's right, an additional agreement. Now that doesn't add to complexity and I can't imagine how that could go wrong in any way whatsoever. So why not include Sigma? Why not have Sigma contribute to the L-Mount Alliance in the same way and will this eventually sort of push Sigma away? Well, Sigma produces lenses for other mounts. They produce it for the Z-Mount, for the EF mount, for Sony's E-Mount and many others. So by sharing this technology with Sigma, wouldn't they better improve lenses for other mount systems? Yeah, definitely. But to exclude one member from the L-Mount Alliance to me just seems a little bit strange and awkward. I can imagine the discussion in the boardrooms between Panasonic and Leica, and then of course adding Sigma to that conversation and say, yeah, guess what? We're working on a new partnership. You can still stay in the Alliance, but we've basically set up a platinum membership. You're not invited, but in that Platinum membership, we're going to work together on better and new and improved features 
But the lens is that we come out to the Alliance. Yeah, I can imagine that would have gone really well. And I'm curious to what possible fallout there might be from this. Now, of course, Yamani-san is saying that it's all good things and that, yes, it's just about working together as a little bit of a side deal between us and Laika. And yeah, Sigma's perfectly fine about that. Well, time will tell, just like having a phase detect autofocus system in future Lumix cameras. Really interesting stuff. This interview between Dave Etchells and Yamani-san, Panasonic's executive vice president, is something I highly recommend you checking into. It goes on for quite some time. And if you want to stay up to date on the latest camera news and rumors, I highly recommend subscribing to this channel. But if you do, make sure you choose all notifications. By choosing all notifications, as soon as I publish a new video on YouTube, you'll get notified through their alert system so that way you can stay up to date on the latest camera news and rumors. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. It's Sunday. Go out and have yourself a great rest of your weekend, and I hope you have a great start of your week. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.